Hey there, Dave here with Transfer Express. Welcome back to the second installment of our Transfer Express training series. In this video, we're gonna be covering placing your order, uploading your artwork, and creating custom designs in our EasyView online designer. Now, it does help if you're familiar with our different types of transfers. Like we mentioned in our first video, you're most likely going for goofproof or hot split retro transfers if you're looking to match that classic screen printed graphic tee look. Our elastoprints are a perfect solution for lower temperature application on polyesters, and our ultra color and CAD prints line are perfect for if you've got lots of colors in your designs, gradients, or fine details. So regardless of your skill level with Photoshop or Illustrator, Affinity Designer, or Corel Draw, we've got a couple solutions in place that are gonna make it really easy to create custom artwork. So let's do it. Now that we're here at transferexpress.com, we'll go right here to the upload artwork button at the top of the page. Now this is gonna open the brand new uploader. And the first question that we're gonna ask is what print method are we looking for? Screen printed is our spot color printing recommended for one to two color printing, uh, three colors sometimes before it becomes not as economical to print. Here is our full color. This is a digital process CMYK color for uh, three plus colors shading, fine details, or any gradients. Here is the multi-file artwork ordering option. Now this is if you have two or more files and you wanna combine them all on one gang sheet. This is gonna open EasyView Online Designer and allow you to scale those appropriately to whatever size you want and put whatever files on there. For our first example, let's use screen print. Now it's asking us how many colors do we want printed. For our first example, we'll use two. The next question will be what fabric you're printing on. 100% cotton, polyester, blends, nylon, etc. So this is going to help us form a recommendation for you to print the best transfer designed for the fabric you're printing on. For our first example, we'll just use 100% cotton. Here, our quantity needed is just the amount that you want ordered. So we need 50 of this image. Now, of course, we get to our product step and our goof proof, our number one transfer is the recommended transfer type to use. So you can see all of our screen printed transfers here. We'll go ahead and select our goof proof transfer. Now, because we selected two colors, there are two colors right here. So our two colors will be black and red. If you need to add another color in this step, you absolutely can, or you could remove colors as well. Now, the next question is going to be about your artwork size. We'll be doing a single image only. Now, once you select single image, down pops a little sizing section. Because we have our file open here in Adobe Illustrator, we'll go ahead and select our entire image. And with the transform box opened here, we know it's seven inches by 3.6. And do seven by 3.6. Of course, we could fit quite a few on there at seven by 3.6. The full sheet size is 11 and a half by 14. So we're paying 1066 per sheet and we're getting each one of our images for about 267 for a grand total of 138.58. So we'll go next. Of course, now there is an artwork checklist at the bottom. Did you convert all text to curves and outlines? Are there show through areas at least 0.04 inches thick? And if ordering full color transfers is the art in CMYK mode. If you need to outline your artwork, just go up here to type, go down to create outlines or shift control and O. After we've checked everything on the artwork checklist, we could go and add our file right here. And we'll add an artwork description. And you could add any notes. If you're looking for a color change or have any weird issues with your artwork, you could just let us know here. This step is optional. Once we checked everything over on the order summary, we looked everything over on the pricing summary at the bottom, we could go ahead and add this to our cart. Now for our second example, we'll go ahead and go through our process again, but ordering a full gang sheet. This step we'll be using our screen printed transfers. We'll be using one color printing. And here, let's say we're printing on polyester. Now for the quantity, we'll add 50. But as you can see now, because we're printing on 100% polyester, our elastic prints option is the recommended transfer type. We'll be using black inks for this one color print. 
Now gang sheet's going to be if we already set up our file on an 11 and a half by 14 inch artboard. So here we have everything all set and we'll run through the artwork checklist again. We do not have outline fonts. So we'll go to type, create outlines. So here we have our full sheet size. Our gang sheet is selected. Our 50 sheets are 267 in image and we'll go on to the next step. Here is our pricing at the bottom and we'll go ahead and add our full gang sheet. We could add our artwork description and any notes. We don't have any, so we'll just move forward and add it to cart. Now in our final example, we'll show our full color option. Now we're using full color because we have gradients in our artwork and a little bit more than three colors that we want replicated. So for this example, we'll be printing on 100% cotton and now it's going to ask us our quantity. So we need 50. Now you'll see that our Ultra Color Soft is the recommended product here. It's going to skip our color since we are printing in full color CMYK. Again, we'll be talking about measuring it with our transform window open. It's seven by 3.5, seven by 3.5. Now we'll go ahead and go to the next step. Now over here on the right hand side, we have our order summary. On the bottom, we have our pricing summary again, and we'll go through our ordering checklist. Let's check to make sure that the art is in CMYK color mode so our colors are more accurate when printed. Let's go back on over to Illustrator and we'll go type, create outlines first, then we'll look at our document setup to see what color mode we're in. And here we are in CMYK, so we're A-OK. -okay. Now we'll go back to our uploader. We'll drag and drop or upload our file. And here's our single multicolor image in an Illustrator format. And we'll add this one here. And that's it. All right, now that we've walked through the uploader, let's head on over to Easy View Designer to start creating some t-shirt designs from scratch. Now, Easy View is our exclusive online builder that makes designing your own custom t-shirts a breeze. It's loaded full of tons of customizable layouts fonts and clip arts that allow you to create awesome t-shirts without any experience using design programs. So let's get over here and get started in Easy View by just clicking right here on Design Center. At first you're going to see this nice menu pop up that's going to help direct you to where you need to go. Layouts is all of our pre-designed templates that you could customize. Clip art is filled with design elements that you could use. Add Your Artwork allows you to upload your own raster or vector files here directly into Easy View, where you could create gang sheets, adjust sizing, colors, or add your own logo to your layouts, etc. Resume Last Session pulls up to where you last left off, and Open Job takes you to all of your saved Easy View projects. Our recently used section here at the bottom makes picking up where you left off nice and simple. You could choose to get started here or just click off to close the menu and start designing here in Easy View. At first glance, we've got our design tools here along the left side. Text, clip arts, layouts, or adding your own artwork. At the bottom, we've got effects controls and our save job button. Along the top, we've got our tools. This is undo and redo arrows, our object controls for effects, distressing, patterns, duplicating, mirroring, flipping, grouping, ungrouping, deleting, and selecting all. Our align tools help us align objects to each other. Our order menu brings elements from the front to the back relative to each other. Our artboard menu allows us to change the orientation to portrait, which is vertical, or landscape, horizontal. Zoom gives us zoom controls and the trash button deletes whatever we've got selected. Common keyboard shortcuts work here too, like Control or Command C to copy and duplicate, or Control G that will group objects together, Control Z to undo, etc. At the top right, we've got a whole bunch of in-depth how-to videos and trainings available just one click away under the training videos option. And right below that, along the right, is our transfer configurator with an instant quoting section at the bottom that displays pricing based on your selections. There's also a little warning section there that's going to tell you if something is wrong and how to fix it. Are you ready? Let's get started and add a layout. So first we're going to click add layout and let's type in festival in the search. On the left, there's a menu with all of our categories and subcategories, but the search feature works really well here in Easy View. So let's use layout QEV203 right here. I like it. Bam, our layout loads directly onto the artboard. 
As you can see on the right, we've got screen print and goof proof auto defaulted here for us, which is perfect. And that's what we'll be using. That makes our sheet size the 11 and a half by 14 inches. If we drag the box around our art here on the left side, we could see our size. I want it to be full front of the shirt, so let's make it uh, 10 inches wide. Uh oh, that makes our artwork too high for the sheet. So let's fix that with the artboard tool. Let's click on it, select portrait, and there we go. It's all on the sheet now. Let's make our changes to the art, and then we'll start playing with our ink colors later. First, let's change Compton Valley to Cedar Heights. Just double click on the text and type in whatever you want. Now, this is our third annual, so let's change this next line of text too. Actually, if we wanted to use the shirts for next year's event as well, we could just remove this. So let's remove it. Let's select it and hit delete, or we could hit the trash can and poof, it's gone. Now, bluegrass is cool, but this is a country festival, so we'll change this too. So we'll just double click and enter it into our text field, country. Now, I want to keep the word festival, but I'm not really sold on the font here. So let's select it and go back over to the left-hand side on our drop-down font menu. Here, we'll scroll until we find one we like. Hmm. Ooh, blackjack serif looks perfect. Let's select it and automatically, the font changes over here in our artwork. Now, I like this banjo, but what if we wanted to put a guitar here instead? So let's navigate to the Add Clip Art menu and search Guitar. X3B51, that one looks cool. We could rotate it here to match the banjo sizing. All right. And then we'll use the order tools at the top to send it all the way to the back. Now we have the banjo in front so we could select it and delete it. Poof, it's gone. Now our leaf flourish here on the sides is actually in front of the guitar. So let's select that and move it to the back too. Perfect. I wanna clean up the outline here on the guitar and make it a little bit bigger. So let's select the special effects on the bottom left side here and we'll click effects. Now let's select touching outline and on the right hand side now we could adjust our color to no ink. That's gonna knock out the leaves in the background. We can make this outline thicker or thinner using the width controls plus or minus buttons. We'll click done on the bottom right to close out our effect controls. But eh, you know what? I kind of like the banjo better. So we could use our undo controls or hit control Z or command Z on a Mac to undo our changes until we're back to where we were. There, now we've got the banjo back and the guitar is gone. Well, this is awesome. I'm really happy with the design. So let's change the ink colors now. First, we'll start on the right with our correct apparel color. In this example, we've already ordered our navy shirts, so let's pick navy. That's gonna change the background color to navy for our apparel. Just so we could see our design, let's select everything now and change the artwork colors to white. Just select all of it and go to the left side under colors and change the ink from black to white. Now we'll select our individual pieces that we do wanna change. Let's grab all of these leaves and flourishes. We could select them individually and change the colors, or we could hold shift while we're selecting each one to select all of them at the same time. Now, let's make these the color Jade. Perfect. Here in EasyView, we could add a whole bunch of extra stuff to make this a nice gang sheet if we had room. Here in layouts, we could go to the dealers only on the left-hand side and find easy to edit shirt tags like these right here. Instead, I think I'm just gonna pull some elements from our big design here on the gang sheet and create a couple of smaller left chest or sleeve prints that we could include on the shirt here. We'll just select our country and festival elements here and we'll copy those by either going object duplicate or control C. Now, we'll use our text tool to click right here and create a text box and we'll type Cedar Heights without the arc. And we'll set the font to Jackham to match the arced Cedar Heights up top. Now, we could also adjust the letter spacing on the left-hand side here with Cedar Heights selected. Let's change that so it's spaced out a little bit farther. 
Now, I wanna change the color of it to jade as well. So we'll just select it and change the inks here on the left-hand side. Now that we've got this all set, let's group the artwork together to make it easy to move around. We'll just drag a box around the entire artwork here on the large one and hit group. And then we'll do it to the smaller design too. Now, before we go through the right-hand side and configure our transfers, let's upload our own company design using the Add Your Artwork button. Here we have a PDF uh, we designed for ourselves, and we'll choose it and import it right here. Now, because it's a vector file in a PDF format, EasyView is going to pull it directly into the session, and it displays the colors on the left-hand side. The exclamation marks in those swatches lets us know that this is not a standard color and we're gonna need to recolor it. So let's recolor it with the inks already printing. That'll be white and jade. They're gonna be at the top of the list as an in-use ink. Now we'll just click them here. Now let's size it to four inches wide and we'll tuck it into the gang sheet on the opposite corner of our smaller graphic, like that. If we didn't have a vector file and say maybe just a JPEG, we could still do it. We'll just have to add an extra step. Now we're gonna add the artwork in the same exact way, but it's gonna take us to the Easy View Image Editor, which will adjust our artwork to spot color for Easy View use. If we were printing a full color transfer like the CAD prints or ultra color, we would just select choose original here on the left hand side. Now we are going to be doing a spot color graphic. So let's convert it for screen printing with the spot color button. Since we're dropping some of the small text out here on the first pass, let's click max on the image quality on this next screen. We'll also click remove background and remove the white area here. Then we'll click Reprocess at the bottom. This might take a little bit longer if you're using that max detail selection. All right, it looks good and we've got it in the Easy View session now. Since some of the white in the letters and inside the t-shirt actually pulled in, we could just go to the left-hand side menu here and select the white ink and change it to no ink. That's gonna knock it out to the shirt color. Then we could just recolor the other inks in the file like we did on the first version that we pulled in and bam, we're all set. Let's roll down to the right side now and fill in our transfer details. So we got screen print, goof proof, we'll select 100% cotton, cut apart selection here is if you would like us to cut your designs apart from the gang sheet before shipping them to you. Now this is an additional fee and requires at least a half inch between each piece of artwork. We've got scissors here, so we'll leave this at no for now. We have our two color inks already in here, jade and white, and our apparel color already set. So let's print 50 of these gang sheets without any color changes. Now color changes would be using the same artwork, but adjusting one or more inks to a different color. Like if we were also printing on say white t-shirts and needed to change the white inks to black. We could also add any notes here to customer service as well. We don't have any right now, so we're done. And here at the bottom, we've got our price and we could see our ship date and costing details just by clicking the view details button. Now one real cool function here in EasyView before we add these to our cart by clicking done is seeing it mocked up on apparel. Next to done, we've got this apparel and share button. The drop down arrow allows us to mock this up with the entire gang sheet or just the selection. Since we just want to see our banjo graphic here, let's select it and use the selection only. And here on the left side, let's search uh, 2000 to see this on the Gildan 2000 t-shirts that we've already purchased for this example. And then out of the swatches right here, we'll select uh, navy. There it is. Wonderful. Now, if we didn't already have garments, we could go over to the right side and easily add different sizing right to our order. Now that we're done, we could click done and we'll have one more page to review to see all of the details. So here on the last step of your Easy View order, all of your details are on the right hand side. You can see your ship date clearly shown right here and the transfer price per image and total. And last step, we'll add it to the cart and check out. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped explain the different ways to order here at Transfer Express. We'll be wrapping up our Transfer Express training series in the next video with some easy quoting and pricing tips to help you maximize your profits. We are dedicated to supporting you and your t-shirt business here at Transfer Express and have tons of resources built to help you succeed. From our YouTube channel to blog and help center, we're constantly releasing new inspirational and educational content to help you thrive. If you've ever got a question, feel free to reach out to us with our live chat, email, or just give us a call. But until next time, I'm Dave, happy pressing.